So the Lord says and does. See? We say we don't do. But the Lord says and does. This is the difference between this perfect man and every human being. Every human being fail when it comes to doing. Everyone is brilliant in saying things, but they are useless in doing things. Christ is perfect in saying, perfect in doing. That's why I want you, John the Beloved, to write these things. All these are the true sayings of God, because God says and does everything is true about Him. He is the yes and He is the amen. He's the faithful one. So now, you need to be encouraged when the Lord Jesus says, I am with you all the days of your life. And until the end of all ages, why are you worried? Why are you saying the Lord has for forsaken me? Why are you saying the Lord has forgotten me? The Lord uh, has the yes and the amen. He cannot lie to himself. He is faithful to his word and he is faithful to his promise. And he is the amen always without fail. So when he says, I'm with you, rest assured he is. Whether you are going through some difficult times, remember the Lord has never forgotten you. Never. The whole world will forget you. The Lord will never. All your friends will walk away from you. The Lord will never. Your family cannot help you. The Lord will help you always. You have to trust in the Lord. You have to trust in the Lord. Another thing why he, the angel is saying to John, write these, they are true sayings of God. Why? Because my beloved, when God says, I'm going to do this for you, and you wait. One month, nothing happened. One year, nothing happened. Ten years, nothing happened. Twenty years, nothing happened. Then you start questioning, doubting, saying, well, God promised, but he never delivered. No, God is faithful. It is all in his perfect timing. He came in a, in a vision to our father Joseph and he said, I will make you like a king and I will make your mom, your parents and your brothers to come and bow before you. And then what happened after that promise? He was sold to merchants, Ishmaelites merchants. He was sold by his brothers to Ishmaelite merchants. They took him as a slave to Egypt. And in Egypt, he was thrown into an equivalent of a Guantanamo Bay. It's a prison without having the ever hope of being released. Whoever goes into that prison will die and rot in that prison. He was thrown in that prison. Joseph wondered, God, but you promised me I'll be, I'll be a king. My brothers will come and bow before me. They sold me. I was a slave. And then from a slave into a prison, into a dungeon. I don't know. I'm going to die here. No one will come to my rescue. But the Lord has the yes and the amen. And when the time came, according to God's timing, not our hours, God took him out of prison and made him second in charge to Pharaoh. He ruled over all of Egypt. And his brothers bowed before him. That's not just a story. That is the truth. Because they are God's saying. They are true. You wait on God's promise, you will be glorified. And whatever God promised you, He will make all your brothers bow before you. The time is at hand. They will bow before their brother. The time is at hand. 